Gordon, the Iron Dragon, Ryan. And coming onto the mat from the red corner, from Kyoterra Academy, Yuri Simoen. Yuri Simoes, Gordon Ryan. Gentlemen, going after it, our first semifinal of the evening. Gordon Ryan sitting pretty with two submissions already. And Samoish definitely had a lot of work to do with Gary Tonin. Gordon Ryan looking for some redemption as uh, Gary Tonin, his mentor. Oh, possibly could set up a triangle, but he pulled that leg off. Be interesting if uh, Gordon Ryan can do, do something that uh, his teammate wasn't able to do. He's, he's seeking some revenge here, Nick. Absolutely. It's going to be interesting to see with Yuri how his conditioning holds up after all that overtime. And, you know, kudos to Gordon because he is like the absolute underdog of this particular tournament. Everybody else, uh, you know, coming in at that age and he was a replacement uh, for Eddie Cummings. Uh, but he's definitely shown that he's uh, got what it takes to compete at this level. Absolutely. We appreciate you joining us once again, Nick the Tooth. Is uh, to my left, Scott Ross. To my right, I'm TJ DeSantis. This is the Eddie Bravo Invitational, EBI number six, the absolute tournament. Our debut tonight on UFC Fight Pass, Fight TV, in demand pay per view, Dish Network, all over North oh. America tonight. And you can see how well Gordon uses that long frame of his to hit those inversions and to keep reaching for leg entanglements at angles that usually you wouldn't have to worry about. See if. Samoyce tries to get free here. He's uh, got a half butterfly, does Ryan. Now this is when it's going to pay dividends. You do not have really a, a rest at all coming up here. I mean, the, the, the next uh, fight between D uh, Denise and Chiziev, they're going to go, and then they're going to go very quickly. It's, it's going to be semifinal straight to your final. So if either of these guys can get out of here and uh, get that uh, win, they're going to have uh, a rest period where their opponent just won't. Yuri's got to clear that knee so he can get past and drop his weight on a Gordon. Probably wear him out a little before he goes for the kill. Two and a half in here to regulation. You can see how important that knee shield is in keeping uh, the weight off because, you know, if Yuri gets gets his chest to Gordon's chest, then Gordon's carrying all that weight. Exactly. No, it's a very safe position. Yuri seems to be slowing down a little bit. Yeah, you know, bigger guys, they're carrying more weight. Yeah. It's his third match of the evening. The one with Gary Tonin went, you know, full 10-minute regulation, then uh, all Ooh. all three overtime rounds as well. So now Ryan trying to dig a leg here. He's got that hook on that arm too, though. And the oh, trying to make something happen. Here's Gordon Ryan. Some moist on defense. Uh, well, loses it, does Ryan. Now he stands over the top of Samoish. Tries that back pass, back step pass. So. Samoish has not spent a lot of time on his back this evening. This is the first time I believe we've seen him uh, thus far in the tournament really have to play a, a, a back game. Ryan's got an impressive game. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, very composed. He's not hesitating at all. He's going for it and uh, lots of skills. I mean, he's definitely. Yuri moving for the back. That was nice. Still might get it. Ryan on top. Oh. Oh. Nicely done. Isolates the arm. There's so much there. 
Yuri knows it too. Gordon taking his time, making sure he makes this position count. Shamoy's trying to move. Oh. Oh, going to run out of real estate. Nice sequence. Very nice. nice scramble. It was interesting because Ryan, instead of going for the arm, he went for it. looked like he was trying to set up a knee bar. Yeah. Fishing for it. I, I wonder if he knew that he had that arm so isolated. Moish got it's aggressive. Beautiful jujitsu right I know, there, that right? Was an incredible arm drag. Almost took his back with that. Beautiful. Halfway point here, regulation. Fighting their time here, Ryan on top of Samoish. Another man getting the position they want here. Now Samoish might be in business. Ryan able to clear his leg. He's his left leg behind us. Samoish has a hold of it. Now it's clear now, Ryan. I mean, that's got to be a valuable asset. Gary Tonin in your corner. Tonin literally just grappled your opponent. Oh, minutes oh ago. no, that's, that's awesome positioning for Gordon. Um, although, they're both wrapped up so well. Now we are but, yeah, Gordon's in, that in a better game. position. Yeah. We need the different angle. There you go. Uh, Maybe, but he really wants to turn that into a hill hook. Ryan digging hard. There he goes. That's Samoish where he wants on defensive, right. trying to roll through. He's going to get free. Three and a half remains here in regulation. Wow. I, Gordon Ryan's more the aggressor at this point in the match. He's definitely comfortable. His confidence is growing here. Again, he's trying to oh. get in this leg position. He's got it. Scott, what does he need to do here to finish this? Well, he could go for that as an ankle lock, but he's much more likely to turn that into a heel hook. Oh, oh. Well, look at that torch. That is torch. Samoy's trying to roll through, trying to clear the leg. Ryan lets it go. Nearly has his back taken. Samoy can end up on top. What a sequence. You know, Gordon let go right at the right time, got his arm in uh, to meet Yuri's neck, or he would have been really in a much worse position than he is right now. Now Samoish able to pass the legs. He is inside. Two and a half remains. That heel hook was deep. Very deep. It'll be interesting to see when he stands up, see if he's ginger at all. Once again, the winner of this match will be our first finalist of the evening, EBI 6. The absolute tournament is Yuri Shamoish on top of Gordon Ryan. Ryan on a nice run, submitting both of his opponents here coming into this. Two minutes left to try to continue that streak. Nice, Ryan able to get Shamoish off kilter. They run out of real estate, though. We'll reset here. In the center, the crowd inside the Orpheum loving it. It's been a fantastic night here in Los Angeles. Ninety seconds. Moish trying to isolate a leg. Ryan has none of it, stands. You see Ryan almost turning his back there, Scott. What's he hunting for when he almost gets uh, 180 degrees off kilter? Well, well, he's going in a leg lock position, but it is interesting that he is 
he's that confident in his defense that he's willing to allow the possibility of that back attack. But there, now, he's not an ankle locker, but if you were, you'd roll it over and keep it. Uh, Coming up on 45 seconds here. If Gordon Ryan wants to get that money, that $50,000, he's still in line. He's got two submissions now. He needs to get a, another submission here to cap it off. But uh, Yuri Samo, she's still aggressive. Yeah, but you know, with a leg locker, five seconds is enough. It isn't over until it's over. We are under 25 seconds here in regulation. Gordon going, Ford hard, Samoish still game. Oh, he's just got to get that, if he can get that leg free. Final 10 seconds here. Really good heel. Gordon trying tail. to finish it. They're rolling. Uh, Dying I moments, it will expire. Go. Still time, Gordon still, still might have to oh. There it is, the horn sounds. We are headed to overtime. Yuri looked dead. Yeah, I think Gordon's going to regret when he watches it. He should have just jumped and taken it. I, you don't hear the bell, you keep going. Well, we'll see what happens here. I mean, Yuri's not out of the woods yet. If he wants to punch his way to the finals, he's going to have to get a, a victory here in overtime. But yeah, you're right, Scott. It looks like Ryan is definitely the fresher of the two fighters. Samoish so will go on offense. First, he elects to take the back. All right, switches to a body triangle. When Ryan has had this, or when Samoish has had this uh, position in the past, especially with the Tony match, uh, he had this uh, body triangle every time. It'd be very interesting to see if Gordon plays the same game defensively that uh, Gary Tonin was. Gary is in his corner. You think if anyone could guide him uh, out, it's right there. All right, so. Gordon's turned the body triangle down, and this is what Gary kept doing. It just he just couldn't finish it. He wants to get both of his feet on Yuri's foot right there, and then turn his hip, and that's a mean ankle lock. Oh, uh, the crush down here by Samoyes. He's selling out for this. Look at this. Ryan in some pain. He's grimacing, but he's got to push straight back. Oh, he tapped. Oh, did he I tap? thought that was a tap. It looked like he tapped. Eddie Bravo didn't call it. He's still in it. That was interesting. Credit to Samoyce, he never held on and never let go of it, but Ryan able to get free. It did look like he tapped on camera, but sometimes, uh, wow. you know, defense looks like a tap out. Well, officially, three taps is a tap. Now, you may have tapped with two, but officially, for these exact reasons, three taps is a tap. That was two, ta two touches. And I'll say officially, it's really not a tap unless the referee deems it a tap. There you go. But, yes, that was interesting. And credit to Smoish. He did not let go. He, he kept on it. But uh, now Ryan sets up the bottom half of our first overtime. So there's two main strategies for Gordon here. You're either going to get your thumb and dig it into the neck to try to clear the chin, or you go straight underneath the nose with your forearm. Basically, they're both painful methods of open. He's got the arm trap. Yeah, That's nice the big thing with that body trap. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah, ab absolutely. And that, then it's a two-on-one battle, which yeah. is way cooler. But Yuri is uh, in good position. He's yep. And he's Yuri. Yeah. Ryan trying to dig. And this is a big control position. He can rack up a lot of riding time here if he's not even able to get that submission. I mean, this will pay dividends if it, if it goes to the full three overtimes. I wonder if that's kind of a modified crucifix position. Hmm. Call it what you want. Definitely effective here, but uh, Yuri hanging tough, keeping that chin tucked to his chest. Yuri cannot defend with either arm. Both arms are trapped, so he's using his chin and his shoulder. That's it. And, and his uh, perseverance. This is what you get in an absolute tournament. Gordon Ryan weighed in at 188. Yuri Shimoish 228, 40 pounds difference. And it's Ryan controlling the bigger man. The bigger, vastly more experienced man. I mean, Gordon Ryan is turning out to be that star of a tournament that is, you know, a late replacement, and he's walking away. I mean, win, lose, or draw, he's done big things here tonight, guys. Yeah. Dark horse. Oh, that's such a nice trick, leading with your thumb to get in underneath the neck. 
And all he needs is to get one hand under. Plant it on the neck and just pull back. Look at the face Yuri Samoish is making. He was not comfortable there. He was not comfortable. And that's amazing that he can't get his arm wiggle it free at all throughout all of this. This has been a long time. Gordon's got some serious ride time at this point. You know, at this point, I mean, Gordon Ryan could sit here all night. Although it is costing him something in terms of his legs, um, you know, because he's got to keep that squeeze to keep that arm in there. So he is spending some, not as much as Yuri, but he is spending energy. Oh, now we might oh, have something. Oh. Gordon Ryan is under the neck. Yuri Samoish is in trouble. So now Ryan needs to get that right hand free and try to lock down on that choke. Right, Scott? Well, that would be the best situation, but he can also go for a short choke. Oh, he lost defender. the position. Wow. Wow. Nicely done there by Yuri Samoish. Still very defensive. His arm is still trapped. He hasn't had his left arm for almost the entire ride here. So if Gordon puts his left hand on the uh, right side of Yuri's neck really as close as possible and then just pulls his left shoulder backwards, that would be like a windpipe choke. And that's, uh, I think, the option he's going to be going for. Keep that hand tied up, brother. Yes. And then now, just pull it back. Ryan's back oh, under. But now he's going for the RNC. Wow. Uh, I think Yuri's bleeding. Yeah, he's definitely bleeding in the mouth there. I can't. I don't think Yuri has a, a mouthpiece in. Yeah. Oh man, and it's so tough to attack rear naked chokes when people when you're out of mouth guard. Because when the forearm goes over your front teeth, you know you're about to lose all your front teeth. And there is that forearm over the face of Samosh, but uh, Ryan adjusts. Oh, he's chin strapping him a little bit, try to control that. Wow. And do the whole kitchen. Use your right leg, put it behind his heel, and walk a little forward, Yuri. Lot of riding time adding up for Gordon Ryan. Now Ryan trying to crush down in the face here. Definitely. Going for it. This is a very hard on that face. Like you mentioned, he doesn't have a, a mouthpiece in Scott. I mean, this is yeah. this is tough. He's crushing down I mean, is Gordon Ryan. Gordon. Uh, oh, he lost the grip. Now he readjusts. Oh, oh man. The heart of both of these gentlemen on display. That is painful. And again, Yuri Samosh has been helpless his with his arm. His still in there. It's been in there for, I don't know how long this ride's been. It's been, it's been in there from the opening seconds of the beginning of this overtime. Wow. Yuri, use your left leg to kick under his leg. Walk your left leg forward, Yuri. Five minutes of life. <laughs> Five minutes of ride time. I think this is the longest single overtime period we've had. So now Ryan has been going for this choke for a long time. Oh, turn your taps! Wow! It is done. Gordon Ryan submits Yuri Samoish. The dark horse, man. That was amazing. Wow. You have to think that uh, the exhaustion is playing a, playing a part on it for Yuri. I mean. No, absolutely. Was that the first or the second round? I totally, totally <laughs> blanked. We, we are official. Gordon Ryan will be the winner. Let's throw it to Jim Fitzgerald. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our winner in overtime by submission. Gordon, the Iron Dragon.